How's everyone today? This is William A. Thomas, host of TNJ Radio, where we give you the real news, current topics, raw and unfiltered. So before we actually get started, smash that like button. Be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Let's get into it. Today, we're going to be talking about Patrice Colors, guys. For those who don't know, she is actually a co-founder of Black Lives Matter. Recently, if you may have been paying attention, she had actually got questioned by Hawk Newsome as well as others about the four homes that she had purchased at an astounding $3.2 million. Let that sink in. In other news, she had recently, about a month ago, stepped down from her role as executive director last month. Now, it's been reported or claimed that the financial inquiries had nothing to do with it. In current news, she recently put up a fence around her $1.4 million home in LA. It's equipped with an electric gate, walk-up door and call box, camera, and other safety measures, you know, to keep the riffraff out, as one of her neighbors had actually said. Now, why does any of this matter? Real, realistically, in most situations, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at all. Because if you earn your wages, if you provide value to the marketplace, if, if it ends up being in the millions and you actually earned it, then you deserve it. Now, the problem is in two things. One has to do with your philosophy. The other has to do with how you're earning the money. If you are earning the money on the behalf of helping people, then the people that you claim to be helping should be getting help greatly by the majority of the money. On the philosophy side, we're going to look at the philosophy of Marxism because if you guys remember, Patrice Collars was one of the young ladies who had claimed that she was a trained Marxist. And let me just give you the simple, clear-cut, quick version of Marxism. It's a political and economic theory where a society has no classes. Every person within the society works for a common good and class struggle is theoretically gone. So, what I'd like to ask everyone, everyone who's listening, if you're a millionaire, what I want you to do is put M1 in the comments. If you're a thousandaire, I want you to put T1 in the comments. If you're a hundred air, I want you to put H1 in the comments. Just H1, not H1N1. We don't, we don't need to know anything else you might have picked up. Because I want to know if there's no class struggle and Patrice Collars is buying all these houses, over $3 million, $3.2 million worth of houses, that means that we must all be millionaires. And that's one of the things that I say that you have to watch out for. Whenever someone is pushing for a certain political agenda or a certain business structure or a certain type of investment, whatever it is, you always have to ask the question, are they participating in the whatever they're actually advocating for? It's no different than if a stockbroker is trying to tell you to get a stock but the stockbroker doesn't make their money or is not rich off a of stock. Because if a particular stock can make you rich, it can make them rich, right? Well, in the same way with Marxism, socialism and the different economic theories and political theories that are out there. If they are able to be helpful, then why not implement them now? If you're advocating for a classless society, why not advocate, why not have yourself live in the class of the majority? Because I can tell you right now that the majority of 
black people, the majority of white people, the majority of Chinese, Indian, African, whatever country, continent, city, county, or any government is not a millionaire. And once again, I have no problem with someone being a millionaire. You just have to say it is what it is. You have to be realistic. Don't say I'm a Marxist, but you're not living as a Marxist. So guys, I I really want you guys to take this advice. Whatever you see people try to advocate for, look and see if that's how they're actually living. And some people, you'll, you'll find that there may be some genuine people that actually believe what they preach. And there may be some who, in the beginning, they do, and they may end up changing later after they find out that the money, uh, you know, money's up there with air. So, with that, that's your sip of T&J, and we'll catch you later.